Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much all for being here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you all for joining. Just in case you're catching it on the replay, thank you for joining. Whew, I'm all... Hi, everybody. I'm Kim. This is Fortunate Creations. And this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and everything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're gonna like it here. Plus, I have such a great group of people. You're gonna love it here. So hi, everybody, welcome. Did you notice my new logo? Took me forever last night, I almost gave up. I couldn't even take it. I was like, okay, I just, I can't do this. So um, before I forget, if you, ha, <laughs> hello, Linda. If you guys are lurking in the back, that's absolutely fine. But if you want me to know you're here, because whoever logs in and says hello in the chat, I'm putting you in for the drawing. So um, everybody's getting a number and I'm going to have my um, robot over there <laughs> pick the winner. So um, like I said, if you want me to know you're here, if you want to be in on the drawing, just say hello. Hi, Debbie. And um, we'll be all good. Okay, Linda. Linda. Okay. So please don't forget thummies if you um, would be so kind. There are eight thummies and 11 of us, and I only have nine of us written down. So I wanna make sure I have everybody. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna start with complaining about the weather because this is ridiculous. I've had enough. I feel sorry for you guys way in the back or way in the South that um, you're getting the tornadoes and all that stuff. I get it. I'm so sorry. I'm complaining about the snow and the wind. I shouldn't be because you guys are, um, <laughs> Fritzy, you guys are in a lot more, you know, scary situations. So be safe, please. Hello, Stephen. Welcome. Welcome to my hundredth. Woohoo. <laughs> Diana, hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's not coffee with Kim without snuggles with Fritzy. So here he is. I know it's very exciting. Where's Aunt Linda? Huh? Where's Aunt Linda? Where is she? Where is Aunt Linda? Look, he's looking for her. Crack me up his little tail's going. <laughs> There's my boy. I know I woke you. I know. I, I'm so sorry. So anybody that is new <laughs> oh yeah i'm gonna talk about them in a minute i'm very excited um anybody that's new this is fritzy this is my boy <laughs> all right i'm gonna put you down you go look for aunt linda <laughs> that's not nice i know that's not nice but um <laughs> bright eyed bernie you made it hi thank you so much um for those of you that don't know, I'm also a, a bird fanatic. I love birding. I love everything to do with birding and bright eyed birding. He, first of all, the, my only complaint is that your videos are way too short. I could watch birds with you all day. I love them. So uh, <laughs> I, I love your, your, you get to see a lot of cool birds that I don't get to see. And then a lot of the ones that you do see that you're like, oh, it's a life or it's a, you know, a life or a new one. Um, they're just, normal to me. So it's fun. Hi, Dottie. How are you? Welcome. Sorry, guys. I keep looking over here because I'm trying to write down everybody as you guys come in. Hi, Karen. Good evening. So do you guys have coffee tonight? I have to be honest. I have seltzer and not the uh, spiked seltzer. <laughs> I have just the regular seltzer, but I couldn't do coffee this late at night. So since you brought it up, um, can we talk about this? Brisk tea, nice, nice. What's everybody else drinking? You can see little Fritzy's ear. He's right here. Hi, honey. <laughs> so um, you guys that saw my treasure hunt yesterday. So I went and just up here a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Just up here, I have a whole basket of clothes that I found, but I just decided to work on a few of them. Now, I know some of you are going to say enough with that blanket already. 
right? That was the queen size blanket I found that had rips in it. And um, I decided to repurpose it into a ton of other things. But check these out. Look, Fritzy, can you see? <laughs> He's watching me like, what are you doing? Oh, yum. So yeah, so I took, and another funny thing is, I also said that um, Amazon sent me a steam iron that I never use. I never iron. I'm not going to use it. That, well, guess what? This shirt, or can I do it? This one right here was so wrinkled that I couldn't hang it up. <laughs> Stop it, River Life. I will block you. Just kidding. Um, this one here was so wrinkled that I had to iron it today. So for the first time in 15 years, y'all should be very honored that I ironed something for you. So there it is. But I just took a bunch of outfits and Lori on here, um, she, <laughs> that one blanket is going a long way. And this, this was actually Lori's idea. So I just kind of wanted you guys to see, it's just fun. You know what I mean? Like right here, this is just, the outside of the blanket that I took off and it's just, it's, it's working really well. I love it. It's fun. And Saturday I'm going to bring my yarn barf and these clothes over so that Lori and I can uh, brainstorm on that. So <laughs> yeah, that blanket is going very, very far. Um, Lisa, I, I've made my own sweater, my own bag. Well, you guys know you, I know you guys know. <laughs> All right, so I have 15, I have 19 people in here. Well, let me know if I miss any, but well, how would you know? You're not looking at, I don't know. I'm sorry. So I went to my um, crochet class today. I'm quickly realizing that, um, well, I absolutely love it. It's so much fun and I will not stop going. Um, it's a beginner class and I'm, I'm not by any means like advanced or anything, but she did actually, yeah, the red really does pop. She did ask me today. Um, she's like, do you know what a half double is? And I'm like, yeah, I do. So anyway, while I'm going there for the camaraderie, hi, Terry. Um, all right, everybody, you guys are surrounded. Two of my sisters and my brother-in-law are here. So <laughs> look out. <laughs> that thingamajig. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, nobody irons anymore. But anyway, so while I realize I love the camaraderie and I love everything, um, that class for me, I don't know that I'm going to learn anything other than watching them. And they actually asked me a couple questions today, like the instructor was busy. So they asked me a couple questions. So I don't want to. Um, step on anybody's toes. You know how that goes. So I'm going to, I'm definitely enjoying it. But I actually got an idea that I'm going to reach out to, there's one other yarn store in the area and it's actually an hour north of the store I go to. I'm going to see if they have, because right now I only see that they have um, knitting classes. So I emailed them and said, I'd like to come talk to them about crochet classes. So what if I could Volunteer my time up there for that. I got nothing else to do. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. All right, Melissa. Melissa, that's one I missed. All right. So all of you that are just coming in um, for free knitting classes, right? That's a good, well, see, you're so smart. I can't even take it. <laughs> By the way, this was the mug I got yesterday. I told you guys. It would be my new favorite mug. Let me do this. There's the little boy. There he is, sitting by mommy. <laughs> I have a set of stairs right here, so he's by me. But um, yeah, so this is my mug. On the other side, it says Coffee with Kim with a little 100 right there. <laughs> so. And Lori, I did start the baby blanket today. I'm not going to show you because I want it to be a surprise. So, okay. So I figured I would give you guys just a little bit of a background. How the heck did I get here? Why did I start doing this? If you don't care, I'm sorry. 
but I, I'll be quick about it, I promise. So I've always crafted that, you know, that I've always done. But, um, right, I got to feel them out a little bit more, Margaret. I just, I, I don't know her that well. Um, I got a weird vibe from one of the ladies, but then she was the lady that asked me a question later on. So anyway, it's only my second time there, so I'm going to feel them out a little bit, but I wouldn't mind absolutely helping her or doing a class on a day when she can't make it, maybe being her substitute. But anyway, so um, I've always crafted, I've always, you know, created things, but uh, two years ago in 2022, Mother's Day, my daughter bought me a crochet set. And um, cause she asked me what I want for Mother's Day. And I hate when she spends money on me for stuff that I really don't want or use. So um, I told her I always wanted to learn crochet. So she bought me the set. And um, I, you know, I just kept going from there. And um, so I kept going and going and, and, you know, I played with it for a year and then I entered it in the fair and I won some, you know, some ribbons and this and that's getting exciting. You know, people are complimenting my work. Um, I think I've made every one of my siblings at least 10 things. Sorry, guys. And thank you. <laughs> um, but then I, I, I was doing my job which those of you probably know I was in sales and um, it gets to the point where the, the rat race, the rat wheel, whatever it is that you're on just becomes a little too much. Well, it did for me anyway. So um, somewhere around the end of November, somewhere around Thanksgiving, I said to myself, I don't want to do this anymore. It's been 20 years and I don't want to do it anymore. So um, I retired and it was, I wrote it down. I didn't retire until January, but in my mind, I was done. So on November 29th, I sat down and I turned on my iPad camera and I made my first recording. And I kind of just, I didn't know what I wanted to say. I kind of babbled, but I did what I do now. Once I hit record, I don't turn it off. So you guys get what you get with me. <laughs> so, um, November 29th was my first one and December 3rd was my first coffee with Kim. I just rewatched it. It was kind of funny. Uh, well, thank you. So my first coffee with Kim, it was pretty neat. Um, I did have Fritzy on there. I actually did my first video ever from my kitchen. And then I did my first coffee with Kim in here. Um, so on December 3rd, I got my first four subscribers and I was through the roof. I was absolutely through the roof. Lisa, it, once you learn, it, you just won't stop. <laughs> so my first subscribers and Juan the Yarn Addict was my fourth subscriber. So I was really psyched. I was like, wow. And at that point, he had just been called out by Crystal over at Bagaday. And um, so he was rising fast. So uh, he gave me a couple shout outs. And um, so I, you know, that's when I got my first, I don't know, first 20, 25 after that. And um, it just kept going, little trickles here and there, a few subscribers, few subscribers. I would go on to other content creators live, chat with them a little bit. They'd give me a shout out, stuff like that. So it, it builds up slowly, but I guess not too slowly. If you think about the fact that it's almost uh, five months, December, January, February, March, April, five months to the day. I am <laughs> five months to the day. And I've got almost a thousand people that have looked at my stuff and liked it. So that's kind of cool. And I'm hoping to keep, keep it going. 979. I'm very excited. Um, so, and it was during those live events that I found out what it means to toss yarn into somebody's window. <laughs> and that means you go in and you subscribe. Um, Fritzy, you're shedding. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, the door over there is closed, so he won't be able to um, get out, but that's all right. Mr. Fortunate will hear him hollering if he wants to get out. 
So um, did you guys see that video before of him with those stairs? He's doing it right now. He's he's doing this on the stairs. You're cracking me up, little bit. Oh, come on. Get back up here. You know you're the star of the show. He's like, yeah, I know. I get it. <laughs> so, um, so I'm just hoping now. Obviously, I need what? So I have all my notes over here. I need like 1,200 watch hours. So once I, because I, I don't want to just stop at where you can have people sign up to be a member of your um, channel. I want to be a full on, fully earning for my channel, whatever. So I want, you know, a thousand subs and I want the 4,000 view hours. So I'm getting there. Um, and every time I try to tell myself, come on, come on, you know, I'm being impatient, this and that. Um, I realize that it, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, so neither was fortunate creations. <laughs> so I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to tell myself to relax. And uh, thank you, honey. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I forgot you could see him on the camera. Yep. He's live. <laughs> I was going to text you, but He's I. live as well. <laughs> that was Mr. Fortunate seeing him on the camera that he wanted to go out of the room. So that's too funny. Um, so yeah, I, I want to, this is something my whole life, everybody has always said to me, thank you, Karen. Uh, there's a handful of you guys on here. <laughs> They're saying hello to you, honey. Um, he's river life on here when he logs in. There, there's a few of you, a handful of you that are so encouraging to me. Um, you guys, you're amazing. And I really am humbled that um, I have your support, that I have you in my life. And I, I really do thank you. So um, just know that it means a lot for me to think that you guys are all over the country and um, you take time out of your day or any time out of your life to sit and hang out with me. So that's enough of being mushy. <laughs> So my whole life, people had said to me, you know, you got to make money doing this. Oh, my goodness. Da, 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 da. So now I figured, you know what? I retired. And here I go. This is it. Well, since Fritz isn't in here anymore, I can tip this up a little bit. So, <laughs> Mr. River. <laughs> so I, um, I've signed up for some craft shows. I've signed up for some flea markets. So these are going to definitely be hung up at the flea market. Aren't they cute? Thank you again to Lori for that great um, advice. She's such a great friend. <laughs> so, all right. So there's 24 of you in here. I only have 18 names. So if you guys, even if you're just watching in the background, um, if you just want to say hi so I can put your name in for the drawing. So tonight's drawing is actually... Yeah, I hope so. I hope so, Margaret. And um, with Lori's help on Sunday, we're going to do some more planning and do some more of the outfits. So tonight's giveaway. Do you guys want to know what's inside of the tote or you want to be surprised? Because it is a project bag, which I can show you. Here's the project bag. Full disclosure, this was actually a gift from my coworkers when I retired, <laughs> but it's really just too big for me, so I won't use it. So in here, I have this tote bag. It is a beautiful bag. It's got the holes, what do they call them, grommets. It's got the grommet holes. Oh, you can peek, you almost saw this inside. And it opens here too. But I have it filled with a hundred things, since this is my hundred. <laughs> help, what do you need, Lily? What do you need help? <laughs> Welcome. You want to know? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to show you, but I will tell you. How's that? You want a surprise? Oh, well, you got in. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> Terry, you're eating pierogies? Yum. <laughs> oh, I made so much more of them, Melissa. I've got this whole bag full now. <laughs> so the other day, I, I went through Dunkin' Donuts and I got myself, what did I get? 
oh, I got a sandwich because I was starving. And the, the one girl took my money and this and that. And the other girl came. Okay. The other girl came to hand me my food and I handed her one of these. So she looked at me and I was, I just winked and smiled and said, have a nice day. And she was so, she was so surprised. Um, Diana, to enter, you are already in. I just have to make sure. As everybody enters the room and says hi to me, I put your name down and you get a number. And then once um, I get everybody. <laughs> You're making me hungry, Terry. Quit it. <laughs> so, and please don't forget, Terry, I know you're new, so you probably won't remember, but please go over and click the thumbs up. And Melissa, of course you can. So I'm actually trying to think of all different kinds of things. So since I um, showed you guys the last time, I actually made a couple flowers because people don't care what they are, right? Look, just two little flowers. But you put it in with a card that says, have a nice day. And they're, it's going to make them smile, right? So, yeah, so it's, um, let's see. These were things I just had. These are flowers that are magnets. And then I did the star. <laughs> Supposed to be a starfish, but somehow I gave him one too many of these. So, and then I've got the butterfly. Um, what else? And then I've got the flower that I put in my hair the other day and pulled my hair. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Terry, I'm making you one of these. I'm going to make you wear it all summer. <laughs> and then I've got the little Google Google eyes. So, I mean, think about it. I put one of them on the ice cream at the Stewart's. <laughs> no kidding, Lori. I need a, a Mack truck for your ideas. <laughs> it Exactly, Melissa. So... This little kid, um, think about it. It's walking around Stewart's following mom or dad. They look down in the ice cream because all kids look at the ice cream and they see that in there. And how cute is that? So, um, yeah, I, I hope a little kid found it. That's all. I just hope. <laughs> oh, I'll make it. Terry, I'll make you one of these outfits. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> so, yeah. So where am I going for here with my channel? Well, I'm hoping, and if you guys don't mind, I, I want to expand it a little bit, not only with crafting inside. I want to craft outside. I want to take you in the garden. I want to show you how to be creative or how I can be creative with my plants and with the garden and stuff like that. And while I'm thinking of it, um, <laughs> I know you will, Terry. I know you will. Um, while I'm thinking of it, Easter is over. So get to Lowe's or Walmart or what's the other one? What's the other one? Um, Home Depot. Get to them and check out the Easter plants because especially after this mess going on, we're going to have some discount plants. You might have to keep them in your garage for a week or so until the weather gets better. But you're going to get, and Target. Does Target have a garden center? I don't go to Target that often. Ooh, tractor supply too. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. You're not late. We're just hanging out. We are just hanging out. Thank you for joining. I just have a question. I think somebody's out there and I just want to ask him. Silas, are you out there? Are you watching? If you are, just give me a wave or something in the chat so I can see that you're there. Now, everybody, I'm very, very proud of Silas. He is, I believe he's 10 and he just started crochet. So I sent him um, an amogurumi of a llama and I wrote him a little note and told him, you know, keep up, keep practicing this and that. So I think Silas is here tonight unless he had baseball, but um, I just want to say hi to him. I hope you're here. And um, I did put you in the drawing, so you never know. But um, 
I hope if you're here, Silas, just give me a little sign in the chat. Okay. But yeah, so getting back to gardening, um, I love to, well, how do I put it? A lot of these big, big box stores really have no clue. They hire people that don't know what they're doing in that specific section. So when they put these kids in the gardening section and they either overwater, underwater, over sun, under sun, don't cover them at night, whatever, these plants, you know, they're still savable. And they don't understand that. So we get the benefits. We get a beautiful garden for, you know, fraction of the cost. Look at what I did with those um, roses last year. And if you wonder why I keep touching my fingers, I put on different nail polish today. And it's almost like, I don't know if you can see the texture. It's got, I think it's glitter or I don't know what it is. I don't even know why I did it. What is it? It's, it doesn't look like it's supposed to have glitter in it, but it, it's almost got sand in it. I don't know. This is what I get until I can get out in the garden and get dirt under my nails. I get the, the idea that I think I really want to paint my nails and I don't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not quit it. I will block you. Quit it. So, <laughs> um, wait, the water triples the price. Oh, so you have to pay for your water, Karen. Oh, bummer. What about, geez, I really can't think of a way to, what, what about, oh, what about succulents? They can do like drought or the Ragoza roses that I have, they can do drought or flood, obviously, but maybe just switch up. Um, hmm. That's a tough one. That I would be very sad if I couldn't have some sort of garden. <laughs> oh, you guys are too funny. Uh, yeah, we used to pay for water at our old place. Um, now living here, we have more water than we know what to do with most of the time. But um, yeah, that that's a tough one, Karen. That stinks. But you can live vicariously through me and my garden, right? You can come out with me and hang out with my garden. I'll do lots of them out there. And I was even thinking I could take you guys um, for a boat ride on my little rowboat that I showed you the other day. <laughs> uh, yeah, right on the river. Um, it's, it's amazing. So literally our house is in the location where the Revolutionary War ended. So we're right across the river from the Saratoga battlefield. And it is, um, it, it's, it's amazing here. So sometimes in the river. <laughs> All right. Now oh, I'm watching you guys. So yeah, it's, it's a beautiful place to live. Upstate New York is beautiful anyway. Um, a lot of people, as soon as you say New York, they think New York city. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's beautiful here. But a lot of people, as soon as you say it, they're like, oh, the city. And I'm like, no, not the city. Um, I've been to the city a handful of times and that'll do. I have no desire to ever go back to the city. So, oh yeah, hard water is tough. We have a lot of iron in our water. So it tends to stain everything like this ugly color. You think it's rust, but it's 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 ugly. It's really... So you got to keep an eye. I clean everything like the tub and the sink and all that stuff, bleach. So, yeah. Nice. Hi, Silas. Yay. Um, Silas is here. So I'm really glad you're here. I'm going to put you down for the drawing, Silas. And I'm glad you liked your um, llama. <laughs> keep practicing. You'll get there. I promise. All of us on here have practiced and um, we all started somewhere. And um, so just keep practicing. It's fun. It's great. And someday you'll be making, you know, hats and blankets and, and all the little stuffed animals you want. So everybody's saying hi to you, Silas. <laughs> cool. 
I'm really glad you could make it. That's awesome. Um, this is really a fun journey. See, see what I mean about nice people. It's just so many nice people I'm surrounded. <laughs> Keep practicing. <laughs> nice. Yes, you do. Okay, so Stephen is my brother-in-law, and he lives out past um, the farm where I grew up, and they have beautiful water out there. So it's um, it's a great area I live in, if you can tolerate the weather, but I'm just grumpy about the weather. So, <laughs> oh, speaking of grumpy, sorry, I got fritzy hair on my face. Um, what was I, where was I going? Speaking about Oh, speaking about grumpy. Yeah, they are. Yep. Um, so a couple things I've learned about having my channel, because I've been watching a couple of my new or my first videos. Um, I've changed a lot since I first started. I'm a lot more comfortable. Plus, I like my hair better this way. <laughs> I don't know what made me go. Well, it was the whole pandemic thing. I'm like, ah, let's grow out my Let's go out my bangs. So um, I've learned a couple of things. And I've also, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, I've also been watching other content creators. And I've noticed sometimes they do their videos when they're not in the best of moods. And I, I, I won't do that. So um, because I don't want to come across... I, I'm here to have fun with you guys and have you guys have fun with me. So um, if there's ever a day when I'm late or whatever, having my video on, um, I just want to make sure I'm in the right frame of mind. You always see, you know, hey, everybody. I don't ever want to be like, oh, I'm in a bad mood. I'm having a bad day because um, I do have them. But one of my things that I've learned is you guys see everything when I get behind that um, that camera. So I want you always to be like, oh my goodness, she's silly. She's funny, whatever. I never want you to be like, whoa, she's moody. So that's one thing I've learned. I've also learned that it's okay to make mistakes when you're crafting. And that's why a lot of the time I will keep them on when I'm doing a tutorial. I'm going to leave the mistakes in there and be like, whoops, <laughs> because that's how you learn crafting. That's how you learn to try new things. That's how you learn to keep going. So um, there you go, off my soapbox. <laughs> mm. So I was going to ask you guys. <laughs> now, you know me better than that, Terry. I might be funny, but sometimes I'm grumpy. You, my sisters know that. <laughs> yeah, mistakes are, and it's fine to make them because we're learning. So <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Mistake was my first name. I just switched it to Kim. No, I'm kidding. Um, so, yeah, it's good to make mistakes. And Silas, that's a great lesson for you to learn. Um, you know what? I was teaching my niece and Steve and Linda's uh, daughter. And she's like, oh, I chained a whole row. I said, good. And then I said, now pull it out and start over. And she looked at me. I'm like, pull it out, start over. So I had her do that. And then she got like three or four rows in. She's all happy. I'm like, pull it out, start over. Because unless you practice, you're not going to get better. So keep going, keep practicing. That's why I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> nice. The double is good. Nice. Now how half double is my favorite. If you want me to show you that one, let me know. And I will... <laughs> and I will, I'll, I'll sneak into the office and I'll uh, have your dad bring you to the office. I'll show you. Good job, Silas. That's cool. Silas, if you want, have your dad um, bring you over to the Facebook page and show me a picture of, of what you're doing. So that's cool. Um, I think my brother might be lurking in the back. You guys aren't ready for that. Lori, get ready to block him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He just texted me. I thought you only did it on Saturdays, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, practice, practice, practice. That's why you'll see my um, knitting needles are empty right now because I pulled it out and I'm going to start again. Um, you know, you won't learn it until <laughs> he 
you weren't learning until you keep practicing. And that's, you know, even now. Oh, you like the thick blanket yarn. Okay. All right. Um, I started practicing with a four yarn. Um, so, you know, practice with different size yarns that might, you might find that it's different. Also different size hooks. Silas, do you have a whole set of hooks? Do you have different sizes or are you just practicing with one? Because the different size yarns need different size hooks. It's all cool things you learn as you go. And that is awesome. That's really cool. Um, I learned the thing about the hooks because I was trying to do a really thick yarn with a really small hook and it kept splitting it. So, um, perfect. You got this. Good for you. Good for you, Silas. You're doing great. It's so cool. And if more, more kids your age would start learning stuff like that, it's cool. Um, I'm really proud of you. That's neat. I would love to see it. So if your dad can get you on over there to the Facebook page and put up a picture, that'd be really cool. So I would love that. What else? Oh, all right. So let me see. 27. I've got 20 names written down. I just want to make sure. Lisa, do I have you in there? I do. Sarah. Sarah. Where's Sarah? Sarah Larson. Fritzy, what are you doing? Come on up here. Come on. Um, I just want to make sure I have everybody. Country Life, that's Lisa. I have you. Ruth, I have you. Emma, I have you. Oh, dummies. I think we have about five people just kind of hanging out and watching, which is awesome. That's that's totally fine. Um, now you're eating Easter coconut cake. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. How are you? I got you down. Okay. So everybody that comes in, I put you down and assigned you a number. And once we get enough... Um, or once I feel that everybody's in and everybody is, um, thank you, everybody is here that's going to be here, I'm going to go ahead and do um, the drawing. Terry, I don't understand. You can eat everything in the planet and you never gain a pound. She's that sister, everybody. Can I get an amen? <laughs> She's the sister that's always a size one. She had twins and wore a size zero pants home from the hospital. If she wasn't carrying the babies, I would have tripped her. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Might be not busy. <laughs> Amen, sisters. Yep. We all have that sister. Actually, we had two sisters like that. Our, our sister Cindy was like that as well. She never gained an ounce and always looked amazing. So whatever. <laughs> Uh, I bought you circus pants. Oh, peanuts. I bought you circus peanuts, not pants, Tara. That's a typo. That's pretty funny, actually. Um, so yeah, Terry, I'm going to give you one of these outfits and you're going to wear them this summer. But all right, I just want to make sure I covered everything. Um, do, 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 do. You do? You really like them? I thought Terry was the only person in the world, Lisa, that I thought Terry was the only one that liked those circus peanuts. I'll eat one a year and be like, it's almost like eating Play-Doh, but they're not salty. And how do I know Play-Doh salty? I'll never tell. <laughs> wow, everybody. I Okay. I love um, jelly beans, but I'm not huge on the black licorice. I'll do that. All right. Thumbs up or thumbs down for peeps. I love me the peeps, but I have to. Yeah, same. <laughs> Play. <laughs> She's wearing circus pants. Yeah. That <laughs> oh, I can't take it. You guys are too funny. Terry, just watch your typos. 
Yeah, so we love peeps, right? No peeps, Sarah? All right. Here's the thing with peeps. Hi, Kathy. I have to open the box of peeps and let them sit out and get stale for about a month. And then I can eat them. <laughs> Kathy, I put you in the drawing. Um, you don't like peeps. <laughs> no peeps. All right. I get it. We all have our thing. All right. Chocolate rabbit or white rabbit? Now I'm singing the song White Rabbit. You know that, right? It happens. That's that's what happens in my head. My brain, you guys know, my brain goes from here to here to here. Yes. <laughs> chocolate. Now, if I, I'll take either rabbit, but if I take a chocolate one, it's got to be hollow and I'll stuff it with peanut butter. You're welcome, Silas. <laughs> Wait, what did Lily say? I missed it up here. No peeps either. Malted milk, but ooh, I love them. I do love them. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, malted milk. Well, get them out of the cart, Mr. Fortunate. He's probably sitting there with our grocery list up. <laughs> Sambuca. <laughs> yeah, so you stuff the ears with peanut butter. That's what you do. Now I want to do that. I've been, yeah, Whoppers. Mm. The problem with Whoppers, Kathy, is I will bite them in half and then melt them on the top of my mouth. And then I get the thing, it hurts. No, first I bit the top of the rabbit ear off and then I'd stuff it with peanut butter. So yeah, I guess technically I'd eat that. Yeah. <laughs> right, same, Melissa. I've been so bad on my diet for two weeks. It's not even really a diet. It's just like the way I eat or the way I'm not supposed to eat. I've been really bad. So I've got to get better. I've got to do better um, with, you don't even like dates because they're so sweet. Yeah. Oh, cream cheese. Margaret, that's good. How about olives? They're not too sweet. Cut it out. <laughs> All right, Dottie, we're done. We're not talking candy anymore. <laughs> We could talk cheese. We talk yarn. Oh, let's talk yarn. All right. So you guys know I need an intervention. And I think Lori's the one to give it to me. So Joanne's had a sale. And I told you guys I got half my order. Well, the other half came today. You want to see it? I was so excited. The FedEx guy. So... I met him at the door. I'm like, gimme, 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 gimme my stuff. All right. You wanted a subject change. We're going from my addiction to candy to my addiction to yarn. Okay. So Joanne's. Now, first of all, I like um, the big twist. But they were having a sale. Mm, smells good. <laughs> So I went on, Joanne's was having a sale. They were like $2 a skein. And it's called Big Twist Party. 240 yards. Um, it says it's a four. What do you think? I say it's a three. Either way, I love it. And I'm going to use it and I'm going to make it. I got two of each color. So I got two of these and this one is called mm, 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 candy candy or bonbon that's pretty cool right yeah it's it's a very light four i think so that's candy oh but there's more look at this can you see look at this color i this is so beautiful all right, let me see here. Do, 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 do. This is called Glacial Pool. It's so pretty. It really does look like that ice you see like up in um, Alaska. That blue ice. Yeah, Margaret, I got mine um, online. I didn't go to the... Because the Joann's here is... Um, how do I say it nicely? crappy so, <laughs> so 
Yes, it does. It's beautiful, right? That is a beautiful color. So I can't wait to work with this. And then, oh, there's more. All right, what else did I get? Da, 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 da. And what's this one? So I got two of these. And this one is called Canyon. It's really pretty. Can, yeah, that's better. There we go. There's the there's the true color of it. Oranges and yellows and burgundies and really pretty. So okay. Glasses. <laughs> Good, Tara. Keep your glasses on. Yes, yeah, so I got two of those. Well, how much? How many? 240 yarns. Hi, Michael. <laughs> Coming of the big twist. Oh, bamboo yarn. Oh, thank you very much, Michael. Michael, I'm going to put you in the um, the giveaway. There you go. Just for stopping in and saying hi. Um, but don't rush off if you don't have to. We got a, a fun group here. So, okay. So this is pretty. I got two of these. I'm trying not to put them on my keyboard because I don't want it to type who knows what. All right. What is this one? Da, 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 da. Jelly beans. Speak it. I'm sorry. I didn't bring it up. The yarn did. <laughs> I got two of the jelly beans, but we'll move on quickly from the jelly beans. It's really a pretty, it's very similar. These are very similar. The only real difference is the burgundy. And this has purple right here. This is more of a reddish right here, but they're very very close in color. All right, hold on. We are not done. All right, Linda, pay attention. Bubble tea is the name of this one. All sorts of green. That is pretty. And actually, if I put it real close, can you tell? Look at, it's got like purple in there. right? Silas, stick with us. We'll get you shopping for yarn soon. Eh, very soon. <laughs> Lynn, what do you want me to make you out of this? You pick it. I'll make you something. It is. What's it? It. They're all ba, 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 da, ba, 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 250. What are they made of? 100% acrylic. Yeah. This is pretty, right? Who's building the addition? I know. I can't. I can't. I'm almost done. All right. I got one more set. And this one looks a lot like these. Wow. Okay. So what is this one? This is called Sunset. That's really pretty, right? <laughs> I have a she shed. <laughs> well, I have a camper. Same idea. There's that one. Yeah, this one's pretty too. So I don't know if they're still on sale, but I do know that they were talking online that Joanne's just filed um, bankruptcy. So I think they're closing a lot of the littler stores and moving them to the bigger ones. So, all right, let's pick our favorite. I think out of, hold on, not done. Yeah, it, okay, so here we go. I still think the blue one, the glacial one is my favorite. A huge fat rope-like yarn and you kind of hand, we, yeah. They filed chapter 11, the, okay, all right. Terry, that's a huge, um, that's a big blanket yarn. Why are you looking to you braided or something? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you all about that. Um, Shannon from Another Yarn is making her granda. Oh, nice. Now, I know Shannon over at Art Junkie. That's not the same Shannon because she doesn't have a grandmother. But yeah, what? Or a granddaughter, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, so before I forget, the green tea for you. Lisa, nice. Yeah, I, yeah, 
Terry, I've done one of those actually. Um, there's also yarn that comes in loops and you just tuck the loops inside of each other. I can show you how to do that too. Takes no tools, no nothing. We'll just sit in the campers and we'll have fun with that. Mm -hmm. Creamy peach color. Hold on. This one? Yeah. I know. I haven't watched Crystal's um, prep for that yet, but I'm excited for that too. The canyon. Yeah. This is really pretty. This is the canyon. I get it. Come on. There it is. These are very similar. Like they're real close. But I think, I don't know. They're just, I love, it's definitely a party and a ball of yarn, right? So those are fun. And I can set them on Fritz's stairs because he is laying down in his bed and he's very annoyed with me. <laughs> So Silas, MDL crochet is Michael. He is another guy that crochets. So there you go. Uh, Michael Silas is on here and he is 10 years old and he is just learning to crochet. So um, we're all encouraging him to keep learning and keep crocheting and all that fun stuff. Before I forget, Ruth, um, I sent you your um, your order. You got it? I didn't check. Um, yes, it is 100% acrylic. Yep, 100% acrylic, um, 240 yards. I mean, it doesn't feel like a full, like when I touch some of the other ones over here, they're nice and tight and full. This one isn't. There you go, Silas. Um, Silas, you might want to check out MDL Crochet. He is also, um, he has a channel about crochet as well. So you could learn from him too. So, oh, and then the other day, hold on, just so that we have it all together. This one is succulent. That's a pretty color. So I like, I like these. They're very busy, but I think they'll make up like cute hats. Maybe I'll do them on my Addy machine. And instead of um, crocheting these, I'll use these on the Addy machine. Or maybe I will just get these out and get myself going again. So <laughs> I have not tried the, um, the automatic granny square one. So I took the label off and I read it. I don't know. I'll figure it out, I guess. Karen, you said you used it, right? And then you figured it out your own way. They're just such pretty colors. Look at this. So I almost, I just want to take these and make a poncho. I don't want to do a granny school. Yeah, he didn't like it. All right. I've heard more bad things as far as following their instructions for the granny square. I've heard more bad things about this than I have good. So um, I don't know. I might try to do their granny square their way, but then I might just end up making myself a poncho because I love these colors. They're beautiful. And I happen to have two skeins of it. So how many yards is in one? Do, 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 do. You think by now I'd know how to read a, a label? <laughs> without turning it around 56 times, <laughs> you ended up making a scarf. <laughs> yeah, I think this would be a beautiful poncho with black boots. Look at that, right? Yeah, Margaret, that's what I heard too. So they don't use the size of the hook that they suggest, but some of them, a lot of people that are trying to do this, for those of you that don't know, like Terry and Lynn, um, this is supposed to be a granny square all planned out for you. They, they colored it so that it would make a granny square. And if you don't know what a granny square is, 
you're not my sister. No, I'm kidding. I kid. I kid you. I don't have one by me. Oh, that. Right there. That's a granny scar. <laughs> so I've tried and I think it's just a matter of getting used right. So Sarah, a lot of people said it was the tension. And so um, I'll try it. I'll give it a try. It's going to be nasty weather the next few days. <laughs> it's going to be nasty weather. So uh, I think I have a little yarn to do stuff with. Lori, quit rolling your eyes. I know it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> By the way, uh, Mr. Fortunate did walk in here the other day and he just kind of went like this. And I was like, yeah, you haven't been in here in a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> he does. He just smiles and lets me be me. Nana Square. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I can remember when my daughter first gave me my crochet set. She goes, yeah, I think you can make those things. They even call them granny squares. So she thought that was all you could make with it. She thought that's what all, all that crocheting was, was granny squares. <laughs> Little did she know. Um, okay, so I think we have everybody. Tammy, I have you in there. Yep, Kathy, Michael, Ruth, Linda. Da, 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 da. Okay, I have everybody. So I'm going to go ahead. We have 24 names on the list. Okay. And um, Carrie, I'm not even going to, I'm just not, I'm not, okay. So I have 24 names on the list and I'm going to have my A-L-E-X-A. I'm not going to say it just yet because she'll answer me, but I'm going to have her pick a number between one and 24 and that'll be the person that wins. Um, so last call, if um, any of you are out there and you would like to be on the list, let me know. I have 24, there's 26. So I know that one of them is uh, River Life that I don't have on here because he doesn't want that. Um, okay. All right. Are we ready? Going once. Going twice. <laughs> Alexa, pick, some, pick a number between 1 and 24. This might answer your question. Here's a number between 1 and 24. It's 15. Number 15. And number 15 is Karen. Karen Gar Karen G. Sorry about that. Karen G, you are the winner. Number 15. Awesome. I did, Lori. <laughs> I did take, I took you and Brian both off. So Karen G, you are the winner of the project bag with a hundred things in it. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Awesome. That's cool. So Karen, I do have your address. Um, if I don't, I know I do. So I'm going to go ahead and get that shipped out to you. Um, it, it's cool. There's a lot of fun stuff in there. I think you're going to like it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I just can't say enough how much I love you guys. And I know that word is tossed around a lot, but I really do. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have taken something. I literally walked away from a 20 year career to say, I'm going to do this. And you guys all jumped in and said, yes, you can do this. Oh, all right. So Karen, send me in my email, send me um, in the email, your address. Well, yeah. So as I was saying, thank you so much. Um, you guys, you're, you guys are in the chat. All of you that are here, you're here every time, you're here every day. And um, it means a lot. Like I said, I walked away from something I'd been doing 20 years. I turned on the camera and I just started talking to you guys and you started talking back. And I really appreciate it. And I really love you guys. And um, I'm going to let you go. But remember... Always be creative. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for celebrating with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Be safe in the storms. Bye, guys.